So I'm going to be making a video today on how to replace your shift boot. So um, I have an Alcantara shift boot um, made in red, thanks to Mr. MD Interiors. Um, I'll link him in the description below. You can hit, up on, hit him up on Instagram, and he does all kinds of interior stuff. He also works with uh, Evasive Motorsports, and he also does like seats, dashboards, anything you can think of. And he also has a really dope GTR, so he's the guy to go to. Anyways, um, so first we'll start off taking off the shift knob. So I don't have a nut on the bottom, so I know that if it's a stock AP2, you may have a nut on the bottom holding the shift knob up. And then I have this um, the shift boot collar, which really just comes off. Um, this is a Jay's Racing part. Um, it's for the FK2s, but it kind of does fit for S2000s. And then other than that, there's just going to be some tabs down here so for the whole center console um, and then you just go you just pop those clips off and then you will need your e-brake on and then once you get to here it's probably gonna catch um, and then there's gonna be so for me I have a um, what do you call it I have I have a wire down here on the bottom and that's gonna be for my uh, my alarm um, and then you're gonna have this here, sorry. Probably can't really see this. But so underneath there's gonna be two plugs for the roof um, that you have to disconnect. And I'm having issues pulling that out right now. Give me one second. Then once you slide it off, um, you'll have these two clips that you pop out, one's for the hazard, and then this one's gonna be for the roof. And then you're gonna see right here that there are trim pieces and clip pieces. Um, so there's going to be a screwdriver that you'll need to use to take off these screws down here. So then I'm going to go ahead and take these two screws apart. So then you're going to take notice of um, which side that these two flaps are on because you're going to have to install your shift boot the same way. Um, so give me one second here. But since mine is aftermarket, um, it's not going to uh, be a big issue. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to match up the holes um, on. So let me see here. Oh, camera's spazzing out. Sorry. So there we go. So you're going to have to match up the holes. And then we're going to take off the. So the two screws that you removed here are going to be for taking out the shift boot holder itself. So then there are six tabs right here that on on the edges of it that hold the shift boot in. So then once you pop this out and up, um, your shift boot should just come loose. And this is what it should look like. So now there's nothing on there. So there are three pins on the top, four pins on the sides, and then three pins on the back here that you're going to match up all your holes to. And then, like I was saying, this isn't um, OEM, so it's going to be a little different. Um, but the holes he made matched up perfectly. Um, and then, so once you get all those in, you're going to want to pop this section back in and make sure that the clips hold the, uh, hold the edge of the shift boot in. So then once you have it popped back in, then it's just going to look like a shift boot, you know? Um, this was fairly straightforward and then you just put everything back. You put the two screws back in and then you clip it back on. And then I'm going to go do all that stuff and then we can see how the finished product looks. And then, so once, you know, you clip everything back in. <clears throat> Once you have everything put in, um, you just put the clips back, um, put the two harnesses back on for these two buttons. Okay, so once you're done, it'll look like this. Um, switched out, and I had that, so that's just something extra that you may or may not have. Um, and how that's held in is, how the boot's held into that is with a little rubber band. Um, I plugged in back in my alarm button, um, and then the two these two, the hazards and the roof button, plug in those harnesses and then you're done. It's a fairly straightforward process. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is what the final product looks like. Okay, my dash is kind of, it's a little dirty. I need to get it detailed. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll take some better photos once I'm uh, in some better lighting. And then if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. And then I'm gonna try to do more DIY stuff. Um, and then another shout out to my sponsor, MD Interiors, for helping me out with this. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot more interior stuff that I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's going to be it. I hope you guys, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I don't have another cameraman to help me out, and my parking garage uh, for my apartment isn't so good. So, <clears throat> alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.